What's up, Basil, babe? It's the girl. I'm back. I don't know why I stuck this candy in my mouth. All right. <laughs> I'm going to show you the end of the year classroom review. And I'm about to move some stuff around. I just need to see it in my head before I leave for the summer. Still have a sofa. I'm gonna add two desktop computers over here. I'm about to move this. About to move this. About to move that to free up desk space. I'm gonna move this. I want two more of these. Um, the bikes will stay. I need to get a pedal for this side when I need to fix the bikes and repair them a little these are so wobbly I've asked somebody to try to fix them but I am so over these at this point I don't know but I need two more of these I might might get rid of this not sure some kids love it some kids don't that was my prototype okay this is fine. I still feel like this space, I could do something. I can add more seats or something. I still love this space. I'm going to get rid of the pillows because that didn't work out. The pillows were initially purchased for floor seating. And then I remodeled again, rearranged stuff and I no longer needed the pedals. Um, this will probably stay, I think. And my stage, I gotta fix the lights for my stage. Gotta fix that. And I might, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do over here. I'm definitely gonna add a little curtain here to cover this up. I moved this over here. It used to be a lamp. So that means I need to replace. I know the lamp used to be there. But I kind of want this out of the way. Because we're putting the two desktops here. So that is my classroom. And this is how we ended the year. I can't believe it's over. I cleaned my board. Um, but I'll definitely come in and do some stuff, rethink some stuff. But I want to put these on my Amazon wish list. So please, please check out my Amazon wish list for my classroom, stuff for my classroom. I'll leave it in the description box if I remember. I love my co-chairs. Love, 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 love. So I might move those and put two balls here and use these for when I'm at the computer. When, I, when I'm when um, i modeling something, I have the little document camera up there. So I, sometimes I need a chair and that'll have a, those two balls will have a home and I'll just put the coat chairs up front, which is more space. So. I hope you enjoyed my end of the year classroom tour and I'm looking forward to doing new stuff for the new year. Excuse me. And something is telling me I want to do something different right here, but I'm not sure. I kind of almost want to move. I want to move that black thing. I thought about it and move it over here. So I'm not sure, I have to see, because there's something that keeps calling my name. It keeps calling my name. It's something that I, <laughs> I wanna get. So we'll see, I just have so much on my plate of things that I have to do, invest in, save for, it's make my nerves bad. All right, so I have ideas, you know, just to spice it up for the new year. All right, guys, 
And I am so thankful I don't have to take this room down because usually you gotta take your room down every year. I am so thankful I don't have to do that. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me, checking out my end of the year room tour. It was a good year. All right, give this video a thumbs up or not, and make sure you hit like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit your post notifications, honey. Purr, purr this. Bye, y'all. So this is the final room tour. I'll probably move these two things to that back wall and put these things on this wall because people will see it when they come in. The students will see it when they come in. Got rid of these. I gotta make the curtain for that. Well, I could probably get an ex um, attention box. Desktops are gonna go over there. That's a seat. So I counted like 28 seats. This I like this area. about this. Not really feeling that.